Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 NSRA Street Rod Nats in Louisville, Kentucky, and I came across a 1935 Ford three-window coupe I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Roger, what a cool hot rod, brother. Tell me a little bit about it. Ah, uh, it's a 35 Ford three-window coupe uh, built for Dave Gonzalez out of uh, California. Uh, actually bought this car two years ago in the swap meet here at Louisville. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah, yeah. And has the guy seen it that you bought it from? Yeah, yeah, he seen it at uh, Des Moines there a couple weeks ago when it was finally all done. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, he was digging it. I yeah. mean, yeah, he, <laughs> he was circling it pretty hard. I bet. To think what he, hey, what shape was it in when he sold it to you? Yeah, it was a f complete builder. I mean, there was just a carcass there, all I needed. I even right. made him keep the old frame under it, uh, but it was all boned out. But, you know, that you got to take what you can get on these things. They're just, you know, there's not a whole lot of them to pick from. So, Tell me some of the tricks you did to it. Uh, you know, it's uh, stretched three inches on the wheelbase. Uh, we wedge sectioned it two and a half inches and uh, cut the top two and a half in the front, two in the back, um, you know, and then just stretched the hood sides, the front fenders and the hood and, uh, you know, laid the grill back like two inches. Oh, you know, made the bumpers out of Camaro bumpers and uh, side trim. Uh, TJ at Atomic Machine made that stuff for me. So that didn't have any trim at all in the no, side of it? No, that, no, no trim at all. Man, it looks like they should have had trim. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because yeah, the way yeah. you got it looking looks right. Yeah. You know, they had a couple, three spears on the hood sides on the oh. vents originally, but that was it. Um, Speaking of those vents, what, you got satin on those? Yeah, yeah, I sat in the, you know, I tried to make the motor cover, the hood vents. And the, the side trim kind of tie in with the three louvers, you know, right. with the satin color in them. No, that's just a really nice touch. I was telling you that, you yeah. know, I mean, for all the shiny, they just have that little touch of satin really works. Yeah. And I dig that molding. And the three little things on the back fender that yeah. go with it. Again, why it didn't come that way from the factory, I don't know, because it should have. Yeah. I initially had plans of putting a little bit of satin brown on the wheels, but after I bolted them up, you know, I thought, you know what, I, I'm just going to leave it as it is. That's uh, a tough call, right? With, yeah. Yeah. To take another step or just leave it where yeah. she is. I think it works too. I dig. What size wheels are those? Uh, 2012s on the back and uh, 18.7s on the front. Oh, that's cool. Who makes them? Built especially uh, Reapers is really? the name of them. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good looking wheel for sure. Yeah. What color is it? Uh, that's off of like a little Buick SUV. Uh, the lady kept driving front back and forth in front of my shop and where I noticed it and uh, it's called subterranean I used a exalta base coat clear coat on it isn't that amazing a lady yeah. drives back and forth to yep. the grocery store and she inspires a high-end hot rod <laughs> yeah. she doesn't even know it no nope. huh? <laughs> how cool would she think she it was though if she knew yeah. like hey look you talked about me buying this color and look they're making hot rods yeah. this color yeah tell me about the interior uh, had Dan Weber do that up in Alexandria, Minnesota. Um, we built the dash. He covered it all. Uh, used Dodge Intrepid seats like I always do. Uh, C6 shifter. Um, you know, we made the console and the dash. Uh, you know, pretty much typical of what we do on these things. Uh, it's got vintage air, heat and air, and uh, Dakota digital gauges. Uh, you know, built especially bright work in there. And, um, you know, I don't know. Turned out nice, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an LS3 and uh 4L60E, brand new transmission motor from GM. Um, the guy wanted a, a good driver, you know, no grief. And, uh, you know, that's what I pushed him in that direction. And instead of the Coyote? Yeah, or, you know, built right. whatever. Right, know. sure, I understand that. Uh, no but oil a Ford, you'd like to see a Ford, yeah, but there's yeah. still the LS can't complain. Right. Was it on air? Yeah, it's air ride. Uh, it's got... Uh, AccuAir controller and air rides, you know, uh, shock waves on the, the front and back. Um, the car actually started out, it was going to be coil over, and then mid build, he, he wanted to change it to air ride, so that's what we did. And you say you had him keep the chassis, so you got a custom chassis underneath it? Yeah, it's a Pete and Jake chassis, pro streeted in the back for the 12 inch tires. And uh, I do a couple of things on the stretch, and I also move the X member up on them. So we got more belly clearance, you know, for going over stuff. Uh, right. X is on these kind of hang down originally, so we move them up a little bit and, and just move the motor and tranny up, uh, you know, a little bit too. So Just to make them a little more user friendly. Yeah, yeah, so you don't get hung up, you know, going over stuff. Because uh, it, it, they do hang down quite a bit in the original fashion. Man, it's a beautiful car. Anything I'm missing on it? So we, you know, we use 37 Ford taillights. Uh, just a original gas tank or a reproduction original gas tank underneath it with the pump and everything in it. Uh, 
It's just a trunk model. Um, they did make that, you know, in a rumble seat too. Right. But, uh, and you know, it's got you know uh, a double din stereo in it. You know, amp and speakers and everything all plays up. Got a backup camera on it that actually works really well. I mounted it down there on the license plate, and you can actually use it and back between stuff. It definitely works good. Um, real happy with that deal. I bet. Yeah. As always, a well-thought-out, well-executed build, brother. Thanks so much for giving me some time today. Yeah, no problem. So there you go from the 2020 NSRA Street Rod Nationals in Louisville, Kentucky. The 1935 Ford 3 Window Coupe. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey, y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.